Yeah, I've been in the mirror. I haven't lost soon. I'll be looking in the mirror. I guess every day looks bad. <laughs> <laughs> Things are moving around, mostly down. <laughs> I think that's a rather sad note. We can't, we can't end there. No, we can't. So, looking back over your work on the memoir, yep. it's, a lot of people say when you write this kind of life, and it is writing a life, it turns out to be a caricature. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in that you, you have to selectively take those episodes which mean the most to you from your life, and as well as those, you know, both positive and negative and try to make sense of them. So just, was it an opportunity for look, to look back at your life and, and to sum it up? And if that's the case, what can you say about your life? Um, I think it's been, it's been, I haven't wasted a second of it. I think it's been very full. I've done some foolish things, um, not thinking through things, and, um, but not really bad things. I, I, but um, I probably care too much, I'm too sensitive. So I feel um, the book's cleared a lot of things up for me. It's just sort of cleansed, like a slate's been cleaned for me for some reason. Whatever that means, I don't know, but I feel um, stronger for it. And um, I've learned, I learned about myself. Right about it, yeah. There's lots I left out because um, uh, I just, I couldn't, it's too painful to write something, but um, it's helped me enormously to do it. And if, if only one person reads it and enjoys it, I'm happy. Rest assured, I think more than one person is going to be reading this book. And I think you've given us, particularly those of us like myself who didn't know you um, as well in the past, a great gift in a sense. So even though you say at the beginning it was more or less for yourself, it really, I think it's something that you, like children, you, you let go, let them send them off into the world and come what may. Yeah. So thank you, Peter. And could you please join me in thanking yeah. you? unassuming friend and colleague Peter Keogh had lived such a full and adventurous life. And we would still be none the wiser had he not written this book, so thanks. Thank you, Will, for bringing out the best in Peter and giving us an insight into this up to now, mostly secret life. Thanks also to Paul Peacock for delivering the words so brilliantly that we could actually see Peter in action. Finally, thanks to all of his friends and colleagues for coming along this afternoon to celebrate this milestone with Peter. And before you go, there's always something. Reminder that if you'd like to purchase an e-book, there's a computer just over there. You'll need an Amazon account, but it is free. Um, you can also arrange to buy it as a gift voucher for a, to make an ideal Christmas present. Thanks very much, everyone. Okay, then. Okay. Peter? Peter. You're yeah, with Lisa. Lisa. Okay. okay, one moment. Here we go.